What's up guys, it's Raf here with another tutorial video. In this video we're going to be going over how to use the new hoses, um, properly manage them, and use them to put out a fire. So right now it looks like we've got a fire on the second floor. So the most important thing you need to make sure is that you have a secured water source. So to do that, you want to connect a relay line or a supply line to the nearest hydrant. You'll use your hydrant tool to charge the hydrant. A new feature with this update is that you can grab each hose with the mouse and flake it out or reposition it in whatever way you want. Another thing in this update that you need to remember is you cannot infinitely stretch hose line anymore. So let's say we grab our quick attack line. We can no longer run infinitely We'll, we'll be stopped by the hose and we can't keep running. So that's why you have lengths of hose that you can use. Now to stretch several lengths of hose, you can simply press T and run away from the hose bed. This will pull out additional hose lengths behind you, like so. So if we keep running, more hose will get dragged out. Another thing is with this update when you pull hose off the hose bed it will come with a nozzle pre-attached and you can pick up and drop the hose with the nozzle seamlessly by just pressing E. Another way to stretch lengths of hose is to use the radial menu. Now you have the option to stretch attack lines or relay lines so in this case we can stretch as many lengths as we want so let's say for this fire we want uh, three lengths and with these three lengths uh, in this fire for example we can connect to the standpipe and use a, a hose pack since it's on the second floor like the supply line you're able to grab the hose and flake it out you can grab it at any point in the hose with your mouse just make sure you have your cursor uh, visible <coughs> so before we go in the building you want to make sure that we have a good amount of slack stacked up at the door. In this case we're just going to connect to the standpipe here. But first, before we do so, it looks like we might have fire on the first floor. Possibly. So one thing you can do now is charge the line from the nozzle instead of needing to go to the pump each time. So in this case I can drop the line here once my line is connected to the engine I can open the radial menu and I have this option charge slash shut down line from the nozzle we can call for water and now we've got water and we can put the fire out now one thing to remember is that with the charge line you're going to be moving a lot slower you cannot move as fast as you would before so this can make it difficult to get upstairs or uh, you know far away so you want to shut down your line if you need to reposition or whatnot and then once you're in position with the line you can charge the water again now in multiplayer if somebody goes behind you and grabs your line like so it will relieve some of the drag on you so that they can act as your backup man so let's go ahead and connect this line to the standpipe and we will grab a hose pack and we'll head upstairs to the standpipe and see if we can't put this fire out once you're at the standpipe you can press T and it'll connect your hose pack to the standpipe with the nozzle so I just need to make sure that if we're using the standpipe that our line outside is charged into the standpipe otherwise we're not going to have water so at the current moment the charge the line option does not uh, charge to a standpipe because the hose needs to be directly connected to the um, the pump that it's going to be charged from 
so you guys can ignore these uh, purple materials right now. I'll be fixing that. Now we've got water. As you're spraying, your drag is even more. You can't move as well. But if you shut down the line, you're able to move a little bit, a little bit better. Can't get this knocked down. It does look like we have four collapses here and fire underneath us, possibly. Oh. Oh. Yeah, it looks like the floor gave way. Now, like I said, ignore these purple shaders. This is the first time I'm seeing this issue. So I will write it down and then fix it. This is the cold, or this is the public staging branch. So keep in mind, we're going to be fixing issues every day. And very quickly. So yes, in this update you need to be careful because floors will give way. Things can collapse on top of you. In this case, you see that the the floor in this room collapsed onto the first floor. Anyways, before I get sidetracked, that is the basics of hose management. So, just to recap on the main topics. Water supply. Make sure you have a water supply. You can secure that with a supply line or a relay line on the hydrant. Um, and make sure that you have enough lengths to reach your intended target. So if you try to max out a length of hose, you're going to not be able to keep moving forward. Uh, anyways, that's pretty much the end of that topic. The more you know.